Hello, today we'll be talking about the methods of observation versus experimentation as an issue of debate. It's well known that in the methodology of science that there are two distinct types to confirm the reliability of such a phenomenon. The first is called experimentation, which is a controlled type of experiment based upon regulating the initial conditions of a certain experiment, starting from its contents. While the other one is regulated as an observation in which the experimenter or the detector is unable to regulate its course and to explain the event as it is. These two types of schemes of confirmations are so independent on the size of the sample of investigation. For example, we cannot change the nature of an electron to become a proton, the same as not changing the intensity of the solar wind. So we take them as they look like. And as we observe them, we start to think about their reliability. Nature forces us to accept its behavior without daring to change its contents. Yet, we have to find a reasonable type of explanation to reveal such weird way. From this perspective, let us introduce two types of examples to support such arguments. Due to the vagueness of the expansion of the universe with acceleration and contradicting to the current model of Big Bang, people have accepted such a concept called dark energy, in which that the universe is expanding with acceleration. However, this thing has to force people to think about some explanations to reveal this problem. Why there is a problem? Because how could the universe start from an expansion and this type of expansion is continuously expanding? So there is no stop at, at, the, at the same time while when time goes on, it goes with acceleration. What type of material that let the universe expand with acceleration, it is still an open question. That led scientists to think about cases or some ideas that could not be tested. So it is a strange problem in the universe based on something that we are unable to test some such a thing in order to prove what we have so far. In one of the good examples or strange examples that confront us as a cosmologists, that the universe is based on fine-tuning issue, that everything is assigned with a precise quantity. For example, why the speed of light is 3 times 10 to the power 8 meters per second, the electron charge is 1.6 times 10 to the power minus 19 coulombs, and the electron mass is 9.1 times 10 to the power minus 31 kilograms. Gravitational constant is 6.6 .6 times 10 to the power minus 11 meter cubed per kilogram uh, second squared. These various constants are really have no explanation for being as such. From a scientific point of view, we have to accept them and find a solution or an explanation to reveal this vagueness. This gives us an such an ironic question that we accept these constants that are found in nature and smoothly 
we go and dare to inquire about things that God made them by means of why God didn't incline to our requests or supplications or willing to revisit faith by means of some trends of innovation. I'm really surprised from such a duality of thinking that we go and accept things in nature as they look like and try to criticize the acts of God. This is very strange. This type of thinking reminds us with this verse. If you have run with the footmen and they have wearied you, then how can you contend with horses? And if in the land of peace in which you trusted, they wearied you, then how will you do in the flood plain of Jordan? Jeremiah 12 verse 5. The scientific way of explanation is unable to give an account for the existence of these constants and take them as they look like. In order to find out such an explanation to these things, we went to speculate such ideas that cannot be tested. One of the most surprising ideas that led scientists to think about the reliability of these constants is the concept or such a paradigm called multiverse. We are not living in one universe, but there are many universes and that makes sense. The surprising issue that it gives an, a way to find a solution for the fine-tuning problem and also gives an idea that the dark energy of the universe could be as one of the examples or in other words an alternative solution to reveal that kind of behaviorism. From this point of view, we have to accept things could not be tested or seen. And this has a real violation to the scientific way of thinking, which most people chew about it and say, we have to find an experimental way to confirm any claim. In that case, we have no explanation, but we give on such proposals in order to rely on these arguments. Now, it is really strange that people nowadays are talking about multiverse rather than universe. So they said that we are living in a multiverse. So we should not be surprised when we think about everlasting life, another type of life that cannot be tested and measured from our Earth or from our universe, by the way. It gives me to remind us this verse. Now I saw a new heaven and a new earth for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away. Also, there was no more sea. Also, there is something very interesting and striking words mentioned in the Bible, especially in Wisdom 11, 25. 
In this verse, it is written explicitly the word multiverse. While that word is not mentioned in English version, but in the Arabic text, the word Al-Aqwan. And when we read the verse of Wisdom 11.25 in Arabic, you will find out that the word Al-Aqwan has been replaced in English by things. The surprising thing that multiverse is mentioned in the Bible very long time ago. And recently, in the beginning of the 21st century, people admit the concept of multiverse. Such very strange thing. We should not be surprised anymore. Why? Because it reminds us with this. It reminds us that the Lord gave this prophecy to people by himself. For the prophecy never came by the will of men, but holy men of God spoke as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. Thus we have to believe in Bible to live in happiness and peace. I have to mention to you how this lovely verse gives an indication that our Lord is the Lord of knowledge and all sciences. For you love all things, al aqwan that are, and you hate nothing of things you have made. For you would not have created anything that you hated. For how could things endure except by your will? Or what having been called by you to exist would be preserved? Yet you spare all things, al-aqwan, because they are yours, O Lord, who loves souls. Finally, after we hear the idea of multiverse, we should remember this verse. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament shows his handiwork. The true knowledge is in our Lord Jesus Christ, in whom are hidden all treasures of wisdom and knowledge. May God bless you. Amen.